Hi guys, this is Basha and you are doing Best Mind. So friends, this video is for all those students who are going to give their board examination, ICC class 10 board examination in the year 2020. And as you have already seen in the title of this video, in this session we are going to discuss how to score 90 plus in your mathematics board examination. So do watch this video till the end. And if you find this video helpful, then do not forget to like and do share this video with your friends. So let us begin. mathematics is that you have to be thorough with all the formulas because it is important that in your board examination the formulas and all it is not going to be given to you for mathematics whatever sum you need to solve you have to be careful with the formulas you have to mug up you have to memorize you have to learn the formulas carefully so for that it is important that you as I've already discussed before also that you have to make a formula book it is better that you make a formula book and you can refer to that whenever you are practicing mathematics whenever you are solving a particular sum if you are not sure with the formulas so you can always refer to that and you have to mug it up the formulas and all if you want to mug it up or if you want to revise the formulas it will be easy if you refer to the formula book that you have made because that you have prepared because if you go on searching the formulas from your textbook that is your mathematics book so it is little bit difficult and you are going to waste a lot of time finding and searching out the formula so it is important that you have to make a formula book and you can always refer to that and always whenever you are memorizing the formulas you can refer to your formula book that you have prepared write all the important formulas that are there it is important and now the most important thing you have to practice maths at least for one hour regularly because you have other subjects also so one hour at least you have to practice mathematics every day because mind you mathematics is such a subject that if you don't practice it on regular basis so just for instance I'm giving you an example tomorrow is your mathematics exam and today no matter how much ever you practice it is not going to be enough you have to be regular you have to practice maths regularly if you want to score good marks in your mathematics and formulas and all also you have to be pre-prepared you have to learn the formulas you have to memorize the formulas uh, before only you, tomorrow is your exam for instance then you cannot be mugging up the formulas today because mind you you have to mug up the formulas you have to practice as well so you do not have enough time so what you have to do you have to be thorough with all the formulas and if you forget you can always refer to your formula book and that you have prepared so keep on memorizing and revising the formulas that you have studied and as well as at the same time you have to practice maths on regular basis if you want to score good marks in your mathematics well, so friends, the next thing which is very important for your board examinations or your pre-board examinations is that when you are solving a particular sum, as soon as you complete a particular sum, always go for cross-checking the calculation mistakes and all. It, it can so happen sometimes, it so happens that you have done a particular sum and then you move on doing the rest of the sums and you think that you will check it at the last moment because revision after completing the uh, answers answers you have to go for cross checking it because there can be especially for your mathematics because there can be it can be such that you have done the sums but you have done some of the calculation mistakes and because of that you will not get full marks for a particular sum so your marks is going to be deducted you are going to lose marks so what you have to do as soon as you complete a particular solution as soon as you do a particular sum you have to go for checking it for the second time that is checking the calculation mistakes and all because it can so happen in your mathematics that you might be able to do you might have done some of the calculation mistakes so as soon as you complete a particular sum always go for checking it for the second time because it is important because you might do some of the calculation mistakes so please do not leave it for the last moment because at the last moment what happens you might have shortage of time and then you will not get time to check the uh, answers that you have done so it is important that as soon as you do a particular sum always go for checking it no matter whatever the time duration is you have to go for checking it once uh, at least the calculations and all calculations part because it is important because it can so happen that you have done some of the mistakes so you can check it once well now the next thing which is very important is that when you are practicing mathematics from your 10 years you have to go through the questions which have which are not there in the syllabus of this year you don't have to practice that always be careful with the uh, questions that are outdated the chapters that have been excluded that have been eliminated you don't have to practice that uh, for instance VAT and all this was not there for the last year also so you have to be careful and, and you also have to see that when you are practicing from your 10 years you don't have questions from GST that is your goods and services tax this has been uh, included this year only that is for your 2020 board examination so what you have to do you have to practice it thoroughly from your textbook because mind you the questions from GST you are not going to get it in your 10 years uh, past 10 years board paper so you have to practice it properly and you can expect questions from for at least 6 to 7 marks from this chapter that is GST so you have to practice that and mind you for your mathematics if you are not that good in solving the tough chapters so what you have to do whatever you have done or for instance 
if you are not good in solving circles and all mensuration and all if you find it tough so at least whatever you have done you have to do it easy chapters whatever easy chapters are there you have to do it in such a way that no matter whatever question is asked from that chapter you are able to solve it for instance you have matrices you have probability then you have linear in uh, linear in equations you have quadratic equations you have factorization so study all these chapters properly you have ratio and proportion you have apgp so you have to do it in such a way that no matter whatever question is asked from the easy chapter you are able to do that so that even if you lose marks in your in the questions in which you are not that good in chapters in which you are not that good so you are going to increase your marks from those chapters which you have already done you have to do it in such a way that no matter whatever question is asked from there you are able to do that you are able to solve that properly so that you don't lose any marks in the in that chapters which are easy for you so whatever make your make your strength even more strengthier so whatever you know you have to practice it in such a way that no matter whatever question is asked from that particular chapter you are able to do that properly and you don't lose make sure that you don't lose marks from even a single marks from that chapter so practice it thoroughly and instead of uh, wasting your time and struggling for those chapters which are tough for you you have to practice the easy chapters in such a way that uh, that no matter whatever question is asked you are able to solve that from there so friends these are certain things that you have to keep in mind when you are practicing mathematics in order to score good marks in your mathematics board examination and your pre board examination so friends this was the video that's all for today and besides this if you have any doubts or queries related to your board examination then you can write to us in the comment section so friends this was the video thanks for watching this video and if you like this video then please do give the thumbs up button and subscribe our channel mastermind